Plus. Of course, today we are at St. Joseph High School, as you can see, my high school. And today we have interviews with Dimitri Kami, Ben Kami, who play here. And we also have their little brother, Glenn, who plays at St. Joseph right now as a junior. So they're all like amazing. Get ready for it. So the Timberwolves, NBA Summer League out in Vegas, seen it on NBA TV. So I um, played real well and um, get back this week to see if I got something. And if, if not, I'll probably go back overseas where I started um, after I graduated from University of Illinois. I played my four years there and then after that, I started, um, season before, I started off with the Houston Rockets and then moved to the New York Knicks D League. So I've been, been all over the place. So you've been doing everything and you got your I was tremendous. Um, Coach Payne, he was like a father figure while I was here. Um, me and Evan Turner that played with um, Philly, the Philly uh, we were like brothers. So just coming here and just giving us the uh, grown up talk, um, my baby and us, um, turning us to the so we got to college. So it was just tremendous. We were in the locker room being Okay, and then you also spent time in the locker Opportunities. I know the Lakers call for me, Portland Trail Blazers, and I'm going to be crazy, so hopefully I'll be on one of the rocks and start it. So you're definitely going to get us an interview, like, after you pick, right? No problem. Anytime. So thank you. Then we're going to get it. some more questions before we go out together. All right. Appreciate it. Glenn Watson. I play for St. Joseph High School. I'm a junior. I'm um, class 2015, and this is also. Awesome. Hey, Indiana, Michigan State, Illinois, and um, Crazy 
and stuff like that in Minnesota. Okay. And those things that look at me. Okay. So, um, what's your ultimate goal? Like, college and everything, like, what is your ultimate goal? Um, just get my diploma and just education, basically. Basketball will help me do the rest. But do you plan on going to NBA or do you want to? Yeah, I plan on going to NBA. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you. I go to University of Southern Indiana. I'm a saint, I'm a number 30, and I'm with the boss. Anyways. Okay. Dre, so tell us about your time with the team, though, playing on the team, the king, and everything. Um, it was a good experience, the best four years I had in my life. Um, the, the friendships I made with all the players that we played with, the talent that we had on our team was great. Um, playing with a group of coach was good. So the overall experience was really good. Experience I'm going to forget. And from transitioning from here to going to Southern Indiana, what was like the biggest thing you had to like get over and adjust to? Um, the biggest thing to adjust to is just the intensity level and practice that expectations people expect from you while you're playing. But the school workbook that we have here is pretty much the same. You study as much as you go in high school, so the academics are still good. So you just have to play hard and practice was hard in the travel time. The adjustment from freshman year to senior year is big. You don't really go out as much. You kind of come back and you start studying more and start getting into the into career and adjusting that way. And everything is just not all fun again. It's actually looking forward to the future and building up for success. Are you excited for like, this upcoming season? Like, um, yeah, the season should be great. We're real good. We're real, real talented. We're waiting for two more people to come in as freshmen. So we're going to be real good. We had, Nine senior class. Uh, so we got a new class for our senior class. So it should be okay, what's the number one thing that you have here in the middle? What's the number one thing you want from your older brother and then the number one thing that you're teaching your younger brother? Um, the number one thing will probably just work hard no matter what you do, no matter what you plan, that somebody is always watching. And that's probably what I tell my little brother. Just play hard all the time. Just watch it and just watch what you do and say. To coaching, I haven't decided if I was going to go into college coaching yet or high school coaching. But if I go into high school, I'll be a teacher and then I'll go the coaching route that way. Or if I go into college, I'll just be a basketball college coach. Okay, thank you for coming today. No problem. Uh, so we have all three of our players here, we're all with St. Joe's, and are all currently still playing basketball. So, um, who do you guys learn how to play from? Because y'all all are good. Well, I mean, our whole family plays sports, so it was just like we was born with it. Okay, so who's the best player ever? Yeah, it was me until I got hurt. Easy to say, but I got hurt, so I got hurt. Yeah, so it's me now. Yeah, it's when, when is the youngest, so it might be. Okay, so who's the best player you guys uh, talk about? Like, y'all talk about basketball. Everything. We play games, 2K all the time, um, and that. Um, just, just a little bit of everything. All the, whatever kind of music, especially about the, the, the weak music these days, the cheap keys and all them guys. So we, we do a lot of a lot of fun stuff. Okay, has it ever been like a fight over a game? All the time. I mean, always fight. Even if you win or somebody lose, they gonna be like, I won, and they got arguments and. It's gonna be all day and night until until our mom come back, cut it off, and we just separate because we out of town and I'm doing something, he's doing something, or he's at school. So that's the only time we stop talking. Okay, so I know your mom is like super proud of you guys doing so well as far as like academics and basketball. So what's one thing she's like encouraged and taught you guys? Like, it's like a whole um, just to stay in school, you know, always take, take your academics well because you don't never know when you're going to stop playing. So you got to always do your school work so you can be ready. If I have my basketball stop, you'll be ready to get a job and make some real money. Okay, and right now, Glenn is at St. Joe's. So did y'all like warn him about everything 
about some stuff like I usually do. A younger sibling that y'all like tell them to do and the dogs and all that. They tell you like hey, Yeah, they told me. <laughs> they basically just told me about the teachers and all that. They just basically just told me, I mean, it's just a basketball school and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Thank you all for coming. I'm so excited for your careers in basketball and also further.